Hi, I'm Tim Teller, Canon for Music at St. John's Cathedral. I'm just going to say a couple words about the music for this coming Sunday, September 24th. This Sunday is one of my favorites of the fall because we get to celebrate the Feast of St. Michael and All Angels. While this feast technically falls on September 29th, we're doing it on the 24th because um, we'll be doing St. Francis of Assisi the following week. And so we have an extra special lineup of music. The opening prelude is entitled Benedictus by English composer Alec Raleigh. Raleigh lived from 1892 to 1958, and he was, a, um, he was very important as a composer of both uh, organ and piano music, probably especially piano music, as well as choral works and other, and other genres. Um, he was um, a teacher at Trinity College, and he was very renowned as an academic. And the Benedictus that I'll be playing this Sunday is actually based on a line from a Christina Rossetti poem. The poem's entitled, All Thy Works Praise Thee, O Lord. And the line is, I bring refreshment, I bring ease and calm. And this piece starts out very, very quietly with a gorgeous, gorgeous melody. And then over the course of about five minutes, it builds up till you get to a full organ section in the middle, and then gradually tapers off to a very hushed, sort of ravishing conclusion. It's a, one of my favorite preludes. And then I'm really excited this week to have the opportunity to sing as our processional hymn, hymn number 282, Christ the Fair Glory of the Holy Angels. It's one of my favorite hymns in the entire hymnal, but we only get to sing it on the Feast of St. Michael and All Angels because it's very specific to that, to that Sunday. So that'll be our processional hymn this week. Our offertory anthem is All People That on Earth Do Dwell by English composer Rafe Vaughan Williams. He um, is one of the most important English composers of the 20th century. He was a rough contemporary of um, Alec Rowley, and he was known as a great symphonist and wrote in all kinds of genres. The All People That on Earth Do Dwell is based on the tune Old Hundredth, which the congregation will know very well from the doxology. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. That tune was actually written by a 16th century French composer, Louis Bourgeois, but it's become very popular throughout the centuries as a, um, as a hymn in many denominations. So we have it not only at um, Praise God From Whom All Blessings Flow, hymn 380, we also have it at number 377 uh, as well in the hymnal, and that's the one that the text parallels Vaughn Williams' arrangement. This arrangement actually was put together for the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II in 1953. And it was originally for full orchestra and brass, but it, it holds its own with just solo organ and choir as well. Our postlude is simply entitled Postlude in D Minor by Irish-English composer Charles Villiers Stanford. He was Irish by birth, but generally is lumped in with the English um, composers of his time. He was very, very, very uh, instrumental in raising the standard of quality in English uh, choral music, especially sacred choral music, in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. He wrote a lot of organ music, including some large-scale sonatas. Generally speaking, his organ music probably doesn't hold up quite as well to modern ears as his choral music does. But this little collection of six short preludes and postludes, there are actually two sets, so 12 total pieces, they're, they tend to be short pieces, small pieces, but they actually contain probably his best organ writing. And the post in D minor is the longest of any of them. And it would uh, really function very well as the first movement of a major organ sonata. It's got two contrasting themes that are very well developed, and it ends the service on a, with a rousing conclusion with the trumpets in the back. I hope you enjoy the music this Sunday.